Hello and welcome to Bike Nation. I'm Bryn Lucas. Now in front of me, I've got these five helmets. They're the HJC Arthur Max Evo range from 2014. They are packed full of features. They're flip front helmets. And in the next few minutes, I'm gonna to get to grips with one. Well, to start off with, it's important to know what your helmet is made of, and this is made of a PIM. That's a premium integrated matrix. Essentially, it's a combination of carbon fiber, fiberglass, and aramid fibers all woven together to make a really strong, but also very light helmet. Now, it is packed full of features. It is a flip front helmet, and we'll come to that in just a second, but let's start by having a look at the visor. Now, I say visor, there are two visors built into this helmet, but the first one, this clear one, instead of having annoying little tabs here that you need to lift up and lower down the helmet, it's got one in the center. And what's really nice, it's auto-locking. So as you push it down, it clicks into place and that keeps it nice and secure. Now, if you want to change the visor, maybe give it a clean and then put it back on, it's got this very, very simple locking system. Give it a push and it comes out nice and easily. Do the same to the other side and the visor would come off. Simply load it back into position, locate it, give it a push like so, it clicks in and it's done. Very, very simple. Now you'll notice you've got these two little pins here, one on either side of the helmet. And these have been designed to use with one of these. This is a pin lock fog resistant insert lens. You click it in and it stays there and this comes inside the box for a nice little bonus. Now I said there are visors with this helmet and there are. If I raise this one up and then lower the internal visor down, this is a tinted screen here for you. So you don't have to think about changing this visor here over for a tinted one. If it's a bright sunny day, all you have to do is lower this one down. And that's operated using a little lever at the back. Push it forwards, it lowers it down. There's a button just in front of it. If you press that, it retracts it nice and quickly. I'll show you one more time. Down it goes, press it at the top and off it goes. So it's very, very simple to use. You can feel it very, very easily with your gloves too, which is really, really important. Now, it is a flip front visor. So if you pull the lever at the bottom here, up it comes, the entire face comes off here, as you can see, raising it up. So if you're walking into a petrol station, you can lift it up rather than having to take your crash helmet off, which is just annoying, frankly. Pop it back down though, it locks into place nice and secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. And if you want to raise it up again, the lever is just here, very, very easy to feel. So you've got those options there. So a lot of ventilation if you were to lift up the visor, of course, but there are other ventilation areas too. Here is the first one. This one goes across the front of your face. This allows air to go across your face and keep you nice and cool. So you can open it or close it as you're riding along. You also have one on the top of your head. You leave it back to open it and that means it's closed. So it's very, very simple to use with your gloves on. Any hot air needs to get out of your head and you've got these vents down here to allow air to be expelled across all the exhaust airs, the hot airs can leave your head and keeps you nice and cool. Now, if I raise the front of the helmet itself, you can see inside and the padding. Now, the pads have been designed for your comfort and for your safety. They're made from silver cool, antibacterial and moisture wicking fabric, which sounds very, very exciting. Essentially what it does though, it draws moisture away from your skin, keeps your face nice and dry, and therefore you're much more comfortable. Speaking of comfort as well, if you wear glasses, then there are little grooves built into the pads here. I know you can't see it, but they're built in there to take the pressure away from the side of your head, which again makes you feel more comfortable. Now, if you want to give these pads a bit of a clean, you can do, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is remove the pads by removing them from the poppers there and giving it a bit of a tug and out it comes. Then you've got the horrible job of just trying to move it over the top of the chin strap there, making a mess of it, but out it comes nice and easily. Same to the other side, give it a bit of a tug, remove it from the poppers and over it comes too. So the two pads done. You can give them a wash, pop them back in and because of the material, it will still carry on with the antibacterial agents. Now there's one more pad, this one here on the back. Give that a tug, off it comes, go to the front too. Then you simply give it a bit of a tug from the middle as it comes, there you go. Remove the two sides and there you go, nicely done. Now once you've done it once, you'll find it's very, very easy to do. And if you've got any questions, do please give the Bike Nation team a call. They'll be more than happy to help. Check out the sizing guide, it's on Bike Nation's site and you need to know which size you need to make sure you get the right helmet for you. Also, any orders of £25 or over get free delivery. Don't forget this helmet also comes with a nice bag, as all helmets do, and with a pin lock fog resistant insert lens as well. So there's loads of stuff here. Now, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the Bike Nation channel where you'll find loads of videos on other helmets and clothing and hot grips, loads more too, so check that out. And we're also all over the social media, including Twitter and Facebook, so check us out there too. I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>